Hi guys and uh, welcome to the channel. Just put the paint where it belongs, indeed. Thanks for joining, please subscribe if you like this sort of thing. Today we're going to paint some eyes of this tiger. The full tutorial of this video will be up soon, but today I'm just going to concentrate on the eyes. I'm using my Gallery Mobius 02 for this uh, particular painting, but you can use any airbrush. So because I had a black prime at base, I need to just paint some white here first. Otherwise the colors that will go over the top won't pop. So I'm just blowing in a bit of white and I always mix a little drop of orange into my white. And that prevents that blue shift that you get when you paint white over dark. Next I'm just going to paint the pupil and some of the very fine detail that I found in the reference photo and you can put in as much detail as you like and now I'm going to just blow back some of that black detail that I put in because it's not all just black it does fade here and there so I'm just painting in some of these highlights with the same white that I used initially And of course this means I have to touch up some of the parts that need to stay black. So I'm just coming in here with my small detail brush and painting those dark bits back in again. Right, now it's time for the shadow, so I'm going to just blow the shadow in here, following the reference as close as possible, and that I think is key to creating some nice detailed paintings. I always say paint what you see, not what you think you see, and I know it's difficult, because you want to just get on with it and get it down, but uh, I think the key is to observe what your reference shows and then try and replicate that as best as possible in your paintings. Now I'm just painting the reflections in and obviously coming with my small detail brush and trying to replicate as close as possible what I see in the photo. I know it's um, easy just to put a big blob there but that won't help your realism. And here I'm just painting some reflections of the eyelashes that are visible in the reference. And now I'm going to tint. And I did make a little stencil, as you can see. And I'm going to paint this yellow part first. So I'm going to work light to dark, because the dark is there already. Um, I don't want to mix all these colors. I want to just blow some colors over the top and use the sh previous shading that I've done to create the different shades that I need. You can see the paint is very thin, so that gives me lots of time to build up to the desired hue that I need. And I'll be coming with three different colors for this eye. So I'm starting with the yellow here. Now I'm switching to a pale blue, 
I'm just testing it on the paper. You can just about see it over there. Um, I could have done this later as well, but the mask was up, so I decided just to do it quickly. So I'm just checking uh, to see how dark I need to go. Uh, I can see I need to give a lot more saturation to this image. So now I'm coming with my orange. And this is the same orange that I used for the fur. Just blowing in the edges, the very far edges of this uh, eye. And we're nearly there. So now I'm just coming in just to darken up that center part with a bit of blue over the top. Guys, thanks so much for joining. Please uh, find the full tutorial of this tiger on the YouTube channel. Thanks for joining. Please subscribe if you like, and we'll see you next time.